so the sine of negative pi over 6. So we have to go around clockwise. We find our reference angle is going to be pi over 6. Find that point in the first quadrant. Then sine is our y value, so that's 1 half. And in the third quadrant, we have a negative y value, so that's going to be negative 1 half. Cosine of 10 pi over 3, we're going to go around, that's 3 pi over 3, 6 pi over 3, 9 pi over 3, plus 1 more pi over 3. Our reference angle right there is going to be pi over 3. Find that in the first quadrant. And we have 1 half. And we know that we are going in the negative x direction at 10 pi over 3. So we get cosine of 10 pi over 3 is negative a half. All right, so finally, tangent of pi over 6. So we're going to go up pi over 6, and tangent is going to be 1 half divided by square root of 3 over 2. So we get 1 half divided by square root of 3 over 2 gets us 1 half times 2 over square root of 3. 2's cancel. So 1 over square root of 3, multiply top and bottom by square root of 3 to get square root of 3 over 3. And our sign over here is going to be positive.